What you see here is absolutely everything you'll need for this very basic build. I will put links to all these items so you can find them. With the exception of doing some minor cutting or drilling, this is a completely off the shelf project. During the demonstration I'm going to assume you know how to drill a hole or cut a piece of PVC pipe. Other than that, I'll try and make the details as simple and clear as possible. So thanks for staying along for the ride. First thing we're going to want to do is attach these power packs to this T-section of PVC pipe coupling. Uh, we're going to do that by cutting some holes in the packs themselves and then drilling the holes and attaching them with the bolts. Okay, so here we are with the holes drilled. You're going to make a little sandwich stack like this. Now we're going to fix the bolts. Here we are with the bolts attached to the coupling. This is going to form the base of our photo generator. Next we'll be making the blade. So what we want to do is cut our connector in half and attach it to the two parts of the strips. Now that we got our connectors on the strips, we're going to want to combine the two together and wire them up. Now that we've got this taped together and wired up, we're going to want to put it into the tube. Notice I've shaved out a little bit on the inside to make this connection right here a little bit more snug. You don't have to do this, but I just like to do it because in that way I know that the most delicate part, which is the connector here, uh, stays relatively unmoving and therefore free of damage. Next we'll take our 4-pin adapter and wire it up to here. Here we've got the 4-pin adapter wired in. Uh, you'll notice I also did add a little hot glue. Um, again, I just like to reinforce that element where the LEDs connect to the wiring as it's usually the most delicate part. And then I did cap this off with a little electrical tape. Uh, I would recommend using heat wire wrap or even the uh, liquid version of electrical tape, but electrical tape is fine. Next we'll go ahead and connect up our two main elements, the part we made earlier for the electric stem and the blade. Here we have those parts are now connected. Next we'll wire up our power to our microcontroller and then it's as simple as plugging our microcontroller into our 4 pin adapter. So here we are all crudely wired up. Again I've used a little electrical tape just to keep those wires from being exposed. You'll notice here we have the two battery packs in series because you need 12 volts to light this kit. Uh, you get one and a half volts per double A, so eight of them gives you the 12 you need. So we'll pop some batteries on and handle and we'll see if she works. Here we are with the handle on, the covers on the battery cases. She lights up like a champ. That is the basics to building one of these. Now you know the bare minimum to get you at least to this sort of an end product. I will have a few videos up later showing off some of the ideas I've come up with. Feel free to copy and or paste them. Do whatever you'd like. Now you have the knowledge to build your own.